But Eamon, I think you've a, a bit of a sneaking admiration for Morocco and that maybe they're a little bit unlucky not to have got something so far. They were. They should have beaten Iran, really. They've got a lot of good players. Uh, quite athletic as a side. Uh, passed the ball well. Movement very, very good. Um, they didn't have a clinical striker. Uh, and that cost them. But I thought I watched most of that game and they were very, very good. Yeah, and of yeah. course, uh, Spain have to finish their Group 3 campaign against Morocco, so yes. it's vitally important for Spain today to get a win. Yes, it is. And Iran are, are a very well set up defensive team. Mm -hmm. uh, they nicked it against Morocco, but didn't deserve it. But they don't give a. I think they had a lot of clean sheets in their qualifiers, uh, and they're no pushover. So a big man for Spain tonight would be Costa. Uh, yeah. to rough them up a bit, uh, but it's, it's not a foregone conclusion. And Portugal's game against Morocco was never a foregone conclusion, even though Ronaldo scored that wonderful goal after four minutes. So it's a, it's a tough group enough, this one. Yeah, it certainly is. And again, uh, Ronaldo featured prominently, needless to say, in this afternoon's game, Kevin. What a tournament he's having. Yeah, fantastic start to it. You know, um, this is a brave header. Um, he's very good in the air, everyone is, knows yeah. that. You know, I'm not a lover of Ronaldo and you see his antics again today. He's you know, rolling around and complaining and diving, but you know, as in performances on the pitch, um, he's, he's just been out of this world to begin with. He had a quite Champions League final. I thought maybe he'd be affected coming into the World Cup. But he looks fitter now, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He looks sharp, he looks fit. He looks like he's had a, a couple of good weeks uh, training to, to get himself in shape for it. But you know, he spent a lot of this game on the ground. He, he does take a lot of kicks. You know, he's one of the best players in the world. He's going to get yeah, kicks, yeah. but it's... It's his reaction afterwards. It's you know, it's all about me, and you know that's the side of it. You, you'd love, you'd love him to change. You want, you want young kids looking at Ronaldo as the best player in the world, not not to be seeing that and not thinking that's the the way to act. But um, you know, everything else about him is is top class. I saw a look on his face the other night after the game when he was going around to the other Portuguese players, and I saw it again today, which I've never seen before. A look of determination. He's lean. He's lost four kilos, I believe, mm -hmm. since the Champions League final. Well, yeah, we uh, do know that he, he does work extraordinarily hard on his fitness. Yeah, yeah, but this was actually, look at him there. His face, it, like it's, it's drawn almost. That's a sign of a super fit athlete, at least super fit. And the other thing was going around the other players, encouraging them, hugging them, you know, come on, come on. Yeah. So he, I think he feels this World Cup is uh, his last great challenge. Uh, and I think he's very conscious of that, mm. uh, and uh, that makes it him that makes him even more dangerous than he normally is. Yeah, well, he certainly has great self-belief, and he obviously believes Portugal can go a long way in this competition. He already has his Champions League medal from this year under uh, under his belt. Maybe he's targeting the World Cup medal now.